yeah it's a small uh, mesh it's just like a little over one and a half million but I'm going to smooth the groups anyway later so I don't need that many polygons uh, no I use the smooth groups brush I don't uh, the polish by features is universal so yeah. actually you know what that's a perfect idea for an hour installment of just the tip so with the powers of video editing let's turn off this stream into a YouTube tutorial let's go with another episode of Just the Tip. Hit it. Just the Tip. So, welcome, boys and girls. The music should be off by now, so that means we are in another tutorial for Just the Tip, which is a mini series that are not main. They are not meant to improve some big knowledge that you already have. It's just. Uh, its main purpose is to show you a very small, very quick shot tips on how I make my life much easier inside the tools I operate with. And today what we're going to look at is the Smooth Groups brush. So what we're going to do, first of all, let's save. There we are. There we go. So what we're going to look today is the Smooth Groups brush. Uh, it's a very cool way to smooth your the groups you create. So let's say this pattern is done. It's not, but let's say it is for the sake of time. So, like I've mastered, I'm gonna press Control W and I'm gonna create a group. There you go. You have it. And now, if I come here and I use the, let's just give this. There you go. And now those two, I don't know why. Hmm. There you go. There you go. If I go and go to smooth but uh, polish by features, it will take a little bit of time, but as you can see, it will smooth everything. And sometimes I don't want—I want some edges to be sharp. So what I can do to avoid this is let's go back. Is go to my brush. So let's load our brush here, and in the smooth modifiers here, you have uh, the weighted smooth mode, which is zero for standard, one for stronger, two, and so on. And if you go to six which is groups, what you do is when you smooth, you smooth the groups, you basically polish them with the exception that you polish only what you want. So if you want this edge here to be, you know, kind of jagged, you can just leave it, jagged, there you go. Now if you don't want, then uh, have in mind that after you've done your smooth group you have to go and return it to zero and so if you don't want to do all this what you can do is you can come to your light box and in the brush you go to smooth and there are all those options and some more created into nice uh, different smooth brushes that the folks of Pixel Logic made so we can do our uh, stuff a lot easier and those are the two that I use the most, the Smooth Stronger and the Smooth Groups. I have them in my start brush, so if, uh, my start startup setup. If you want, just go into your ZBrush folder and from the ZBrush fo uh, from the ZBrushes folder <laughs> inside ZBrush, you move them to the Z startup folder and then they'll, ha they'll be at your uh, brushes whenever you start ZBrush. So I can just have this loaded and now I can do the same. It does basically the same thing. You smooth as much as you want, and then I, because I'll extract them anyway, so I just want to have more of a manual control on the polishing of the features. So this is basically it. Uh, that's how you manually polish your polygroups without uh, without screwing everything and you know, having to compromise between uh, smooth and sharp edges. 
So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and now I'm gonna get back to the stream because this blade has a lot of work to be done. It's far from finished and we have to finish it this week. So see you guys. Bye.